The current prototype of the multi-touch sensing tablet is seen here in front of me. The tablet is constructed essentially out of this large PC board which has a grid of discrete points on it in an array of 32 by 64. Discrete points are used in order to support the multi-touch capability. The first thing that we can do is to demonstrate that the tablet works in tracking mode. In this case, we're simply going to track a single point, much like you would with a mouse. So if I move my finger across the tablet, you can see the tracking symbol move on the screen and jump center and to each corner. We're currently functioning in absolute mode. The next thing that we can demonstrate with this tablet is the ability to sense pressure. We'll start by sensing pressure for one point. We're actually sensing how much of my finger is in contact. As I push harder, my finger spreads over the surface. Similarly, on the screen, you'll see a square getting larger as I push harder. This works for more than one point of contact at a time. Here I've got one finger, and I'll add another. And you'll notice that the pressure is being sensed separately for each, and I can add another point of contact as well. The number of points is arbitrarily large, although in the current prototype, the speed of scanning slows down as the number of points increases. Next, we can demonstrate pressure sensing while tracking. So we'll start off with a curve that has fairly light pressure, and then we'll come down, fatten up the line as we push harder, and then at the bottom of the S-curve, lighten up some more. In our last example, we're going to show a number of things. What we've got is a tablet partitioned into three separate sections, each representing a different virtual device. We've got three one-dimensional mice, or sliders, if you will. So we're using the tablet in absolute mode in X to determine which virtual device is chosen, and our Y values we're taking as relative values to push up three values or parameters in the screen, X, Y, and Z. Now, as I move, for example, down on the left of the tablet, the x value decreases. As I move down in the middle of the tablet, the y value decreases. And as I move down on the right of the tablet, the z value decreases. What's important is that more than one value can decrease at a time. So now, for example, I'll pull x and y down simultaneously. In fact, I can pull all three values down at once using the multi-touch mode of the tablet, and you can see I really do have three virtual devices on this one physical tablet. What I have is something akin to Windows on a display manager.